Good day, mortals. It's Pixie here. Today we're playing this war of mine. So, Roman, I want you to get some sleep. You're tired and slightly wounded. We can't beat this illness. Soon all will be over. You are also depressed. You're sick. You're sick and very hungry. Has anyone got food left? I have to eat something. Okay, what was the last time you ate? How long have you been with us? I don't know. I wish I could just call an ambulance. That would be lovely. Alas. We have no ambulances to call. So now that that's full, that temperature should go up to about 15. At least 15, yeah, 15. I'm gonna stay steady at 15. And people shouldn't get sick under fift at 15. Under 15, they can get sick, but at the moment, I think we're fine. So, you two are both depressed. And rob you. Okay, add, add, add more fuel. Alright. Hey, Franco. It's me again, God. Oh, you're not Franco. Voigt. It's me again. Last time it went quite well, so I thought you might want to help again. I know a family of rich who managed to stockpile up on supplies before the war, but they selfishly don't share with anybody. Maybe you could pay them a visit. Yeah, right. I'm going to pay for that. The first job went fine, but now he's going to get us on the second job. He's going to like hold someone hostage and demand a bunch of supplies from us. Okay, so once you two are a bit better, once you're not tired, I could have you eat the food. Yeah, I'll have you eat the food. And actually, on your way, could you check the, uh... Yeah, this. As if war was enough problems on the rise in the city of Morgan, how can anyone keep track? There are reports of armed assaults and injuries. Oh dear, not fun. Okay. We've had that. Okay, and that's all. So you can go and eat that food. Roman wants you. Hello. Sorry, I think we're like recording. Stop for a moment. I think we're back now. I hope we are. They say these cans are quite nutritious. Just don't eat the metal. That's all I ask. Okay, as far as just saying, Roman, once you're not tired anymore, we're gonna have you two chat. Because you're, you're both quite bad. You're, you're very depressed. You're not tired anymore. Okay, so let's get to, to the talking. Okay. Why do you guys always get on the bed when you start talking? Hey, Roman, listen to me. What do you want? Just to remind you that you're not here alone. Go away. No. I want to make it through, and I need your help. So stop crying and pull yourself together. Talk it out for a bit. I just need to run and put some uh, put some stuff on there. If 
can't reach an agreement, we won't survive. Okay, now... Oh, you do get talking. There's no point anyways. Hey, Amelia, listen to me. What do you want? Just to remind you that you're not alone here. Go away. No, I want to make it through. I need your help. I feel like I've been through this before. So stop crying and pull yourself together. Okay, so they're gonna keep talking. And I will see you all at the night. Okay, so... With, with uh, Bruno gone, Roman, you will be guarding Amelia sleeping in bed. Or should I put two on guard? No, you're going to be sleeping in bed. I think Roman should have it fairly under control. He's always had a good handle on things, so yeah. Roman, do your thing. Day 32. Roman got drunk last. Roman was drinking until late and still completely drunk. Did he drink our alcohol? Roman brought some goods from that rich family's house our neighbor had spoken of. Three foods, six clean water. Okay. So, just to check our stuff. We still have the pure alcohol. I'm not sure what he would have been drinking. You need to get some sleep. You, uh, I'm gonna have to get you to do stuff today. You, you can't be sleeping. We need the bed. And you, sleep. First off, check the radio. See if we have anything good. Nothing new, unfortunately. All right, Amelia. So, how are you? For you are depressed and hungover. You are also depressed, and you're very tired. You're very hungry. Okay. I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I could get you to cook. We don't normally do the cooking, but... Yeah, you, you could manage. I'm sure you know how to cook. It's not too difficult. Bruno's just really, really good at it. We have 11 clean water. Okay, so we don't actually need that. Let's... Exit. Roman, you're very hungry. Bruno, you're also very hungry. And Bio. Unless I get some meds, I'll die. Surely there's somewhere to get them. Someone must have them. Okay, so you are going to the hospital tonight. You are slightly wounded. And you're sick as well. Okay, so Bruno, I'll have you go to the hospital tonight to get some medical attention. Or, oh, damn it, we can't get there, can we? No, no, we cannot. Right, so we need more gears, more scrap. So I'll make two of these. Isn't that... Isn't that... Okay, so Bruno can do it with using less water and I think less uh, combustibles. 
yeah, so we're gonna get Bruno to do it later, once he's feeling better. Although that'll be most of the day gone. I'm not- oh! Oh ho! Hello! How long have you been there? So... What am I going to do today? There's not really much to do, I guess. We have 17 food, my goodness. Hmm. So, uh, I'm not sure what I'll be doing for the rest of the day, but if anything interesting happens, I'll come get you guys. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so the city hospital is out of bounds because snow. Hmm. So we've taken everything from the abandoned cottage. We could hit up the supermarket. Uh, nothing would be of value there. Okay. I am going to risk the. Uh, uh, I don't want to risk the construction site again, but not much of a choice. Uh, okay, so. This is where Erica died, so Bruno, please be careful. I feel terrible sending you out here, but... We really don't have anywhere else to go, do we? Signs of movement. Noises at all? Let's see, Bruno. Is there scrap? Because we need scrap. We desperately need scrap. There's scrap. Let's take all the scrap. It's barred from the other side. <gasps> oh, that. This is the spot where Erica died. Okay. So I'll assume there's like a body hidden behind that small mound. Let's inspect the body. Erica claimed to be as quiet as cat or was it a fox? It was a fox. Anyway, apparently that wasn't enough to save her. That's a bit loud, Bruno. I'm just gonna check for um, for any right proclamations. Really quickly, gonna um, just look around for something I can scavenge for more materials, more uh, scrap components. That's what it is. Because we really need those. Okay. Let's drop. Don't we need that? And we'll go with our bit of wood. Okay, so that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 19 pieces of components. Okay. So that'll be all for tonight. I will see you all in the morning. Okay. So we found some good stuff and we didn't even have to steal it. Aren't we happy? 
Bruno, first things first. Let's get some more fuel on that fire. Okay, now to bed. Roman. I, I'm so hungry. I'd kill for a can of meat, right? So, once Bruno gets up. Hold on, did, didn't you sleep last night? Roman. Yeah, you, you go to bed now. Huh. Nothing new. Okay, Amelia. What could we make? What would help us? Using fertilizer, we can grow some herbs and make them juice. Mm -hmm. So nothing of significant. Okay, here's an idea. If I make a second heater, we could keep it warmer in here? That's, that's an idea, but I'm not sure if I want to take it just yet. How much to uh, upgrade this? I think we're, we're probably close, aren't we? Another nine components and nine more gears. My goodness, you are an expensive one. Very pricey indeed. So, I'm not sure what else to do, so if something happens, I'll grab you. If not, I'll see you at the night. Alright, it's Franco. Actually, Amelia, you're a talented lawyer. You, that might be like an upgraded version of bartering skill, perhaps? Oh, meds. Oh, this is gonna cost me. Uh, what can we get rid of? What don't we need? Chocolate shells. This stuff. This stuff? It's not great, but uh, I don't think I'm interested in that actually. What about a bit of food? So if we handed over some of these, uh, let's try getting some of these first. Oh, there we go. So that's a deal, and we get some food out of that. That's good for about three meals, I think. Well, one and a half, two and a half, one and a half, one and a half. This is like half a meal, so one, and actually this is good for get two meals. That's my math on it. Bruno wakes up. Actually, he's not going to be much longer. Mm. 
So when you two are no longer tired, oh, you're no longer tired, so that means you should be right around the corner. Once you're no longer tired, I'm gonna get you two to talk. Because you two really need to talk. Ah, and there it is. And we're gonna watch this bug happen again. Get up, go back to bed, get back up. Yeah. Okay, so you'll actually be sleeping while these two are talking. So I want these two to talk for the rest of the day. You'll be sleeping for the rest of the day. And I will go end day so that all this stuff continues to happen throughout the day. The night. So you'll be scavenging. You'll be on guard and you will again sleep. Not here, not not yet. Construction site, let's go. Bruno, again, just as is. No need to be fancy about this. So, you being the super sneak that you are, you need to go up there. Oh, hold on, there's a new bio inch for you. It was too late, the siege was on. We were already cut off. All rides to my town were cancelled. And it was also too late to do anything for my friend. Anyway, I should have thought about that before I lured her into a false sense of security. I don't know what happened to her. Most likely, I'll never learn. But I fear for the worst. Let's leave the teddy bear. Okay, so let's head up. I'm kind of... Maybe I should have sent you with a weapon. Would a weapon have helped? I don't... It might have helped. It might have done nothing. Because the people here do have guns. And I wouldn't have sent you with our only gun. We need that to defend the base. Even if it only has two bullets. I don't see anything. I don't see any movement or... Audio bubbles, like the red pulse that we see when we see that someone's making noise. So this is where Katya got caught last, not Katya, Erica got caught last time. Someone burst through that door. Grab all. Gap. Make some noise. I'm not sure if there's anyone here. Hold on, there's, there's two food here. We're taking that food. Did you drink our moonshine, Roman? You might have drank our moonshine. I'll leave the moonshine for now because it's not a necessity. Oh, oh if you can go this way, yeah, go this way. Can you get up here from there? Looking for anyone who might shoot us. We look clear. I'm gonna keep heading up. I'm kind of concerned. I mean, I would expect for there to be 
someone here. The fact that there's no one guarding this place makes me uneasy. So next time we come here, we bring a saw blade. And maybe a crowbar? Because crowbars... I noticed some locked things down there. We could use a crowbar to get to them. And I'm sure there's no one here, but I'll look anyway, just out of caution. that there's no one here now. Why not? Why would there... Okay, well, I'm gonna head back and I will see you all in the morning. Day 34, cold days have passed. Oh, thank God. Hello, look at all the stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Roman. What? Roman disappeared at night without surprise. Okay, he only took a bit of... of, uh, burnable stuff. Amelia is feeling much better. We just keep an eye on her. Bruno is feeling much better. Eye on him, too. Okay. Well, Roman, you dick. Bruno, you two are both very hungry. Let's cook up some grub. I can't believe Rowan ditched us. Let's make one of those. Both eat one of those, and you should be fine. Oh, Bruno, run down, grab that for me. Thank you. And Amelia, check the radio because, well, thank God, the cold has passed. I'm sure that there was something new in the weather. We're happy to announce that it's getting warmer, the temperatures should continue to rise in the upcoming days. This may bring some relief to the citizens of Porgan. It most certainly will. I will tell you that much for free. The fresh vesicles are filling the wreck in morning Porgan. The prices will gradually be rising according to, the, to our analytics analysts. The floor is bad enough for the up, seen that. And there's music left. Not a good, well, I wouldn't say not a good day. I mean, the temperature is coming up. Surely it's not as bad as it could be. Okay, you, I want to get sleep. And you. Yeah, you can also sleep for the rest of the day. You two are both ill. <clears throat> and I will see you all at the night, probably, where I will go back to the construction site bringing a crowbar and a saw. And we are through. And what is here on this abandoned shelf? It is meds. We have meds. A 
Let's head down here. And, oh, there's more rubble. I will not be able to get through this tonight. But I might come back another time to dig that out, see what we can get. Oh, so uh, I think that's going to be all for tonight. Run to exit, and I'll see you all in the morning. Raided, someone came at night to take things by force. Someone tried to rob us. Uh, we managed to fend them off. Thank you, we were all on. None of us wounded. The hackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Not that we used up the last of our ammunition. Uh, he looks severely sick. Okay, so I should have sent you instead of Amelia, who is now only slightly sick. Amelia, I want you to grab that. You are severely ill. Okay, so I want you to take those. And then. Bio? This illness is getting the worst all the time. I desperately need meds. I need them more than anyone else. I'd say you do, man. So take some of those. Amelia, rebate the trap. That's the right vote dose for today. I'd say it is. And we'll check the radio before we all head to bed. there for today mortals i hope you all enjoyed it and until next time good night